Hi guys, today I'm gonna do unboxing of two Chanel items that I got during my Paris trip. Uh, one of the items known by the white um, Chanel handbag, you know that it's from 31 Rue Gampon, and another one just from regu regular Chanel boutique in Paris. So please stay with me. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Aksana. Thank you so, so very much for clicking on this video. Today's video is very, very simple. I'm just going to do uh, two unboxing. I'm not going to beat around the bushes. I'm going to explain why I choose these two specific pieces and um, and that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. And I believe it's pretty much my last video about Chanel from a Paris trip. I'm gonna have way more videos about Hermes coming, shopping at the flagship store, shopping at two other um, stores, uh, story time about very good service and not so great service, etc. etc. I'm gonna talk also about the hotel where I stayed, the boutique. If you're planning to travel to Paris, it's actually a very, very nice location. I got it myself from Double Vanilla, and I believe it's one of the best deals in price and location you can get if you really want to go to that central area for shopping because everything literally is in walking distance. So let's start it. Let's start it. So I'm gonna start with the white shopping bag. You all know that it's uh, from 31 Rue Gambon. I absolutely love packaging. You see, there is this new packaging, absolutely gorgeous, and there is a button in the state of uh, camellias. And I believe you can actually use this button if you wanna tie like your scarf or something. So it's uh, definitely, definitely a, a useful thing. Let me just make sure that I'm in focus. Yeah, I was just making sure that I'm in focus, guys, because, you know, my camera lately playing huge tricks on me. Um, if you want, you can watch also my first unboxing of Hermes. And I had major problem with the camera, something out of focus all the time. But anyway... That's not why you're here. You're here to see what I got. But before I'm gonna start unpacking all of this, if you're into luxury, if you're into um, any kind of jewelry, shoes, fashion, etc., specifically if you're into handbags, I would really appreciate if you click subscribe button, uh, follow me uh, on YouTube, on Instagram. I'm even considering opening TikTok. I know that TikTok is more for the younger generations, but you know what? Why not? Why not? Anyway, so let's uh, unbox this. And if you want to see my um, shopping of uh, um, Chanel at 31 Rue Campon, I have major story times also. So um, I'm going to link both of the videos right there. See how cute. If you even like it, you can do as a choker. Um, it's really, really brilliant what they did right now in the state of like, you know, camellias at they clearly spending money on it, but you kind of either collecting them or throwing them away. So anyway, you can see that it's a piece of ready to wear and they didn't even give a box, just kind of like, you know, like that. But I guess maybe because this piece is uh, on sale. And just before this video, I did also a video just my talking about my experience in Paris. And you can see, oops, that I'm literally haven't opened it yet because I'm, since I came from Paris, it's just kind of sitting in the corner that, you know, in Paris, pretty much all the best items or all the best sales items kind of going to VIPs. That's at least what I kind of felt. So anyway, let me put this all away and that's what I got. Oh, it's actually quite nice packaging. I got this gorgeous, gorgeous Chanel t-shirts. It's very, very simple, just white. You cannot go wrong. And it says a uh, Coco Chanel. And on this little thing is, each of them is actually tweed. And then you have a rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous. Clearly will go with everything. So neutral, so Chanel, you know. And then 
just once again want to make sure that i'm in focus there is a little bit of kind of uh, you know fitting details it's most likely won't show on camera but it kind of gives a little bit of better shape and even at the back so it's not kind of loose t-shirt it's more of the fitted t-shirt and when it comes to Chanel, their size is all over the place. Sometimes I need to buy 42, sometimes I'm 40, sometimes I'm even 38. This t-shirt, in fact, 36 only. You can see that it's size 36, but it's actually, just want to make sure that I'm in focus, but it's actually even on me. I'm not like, not really lose-lose, but still not really loose loose but still quite i would say not very fitted and um yeah uh i think she removed the price from here but it was originally actually quite expensive because i got this t-shirt pretty much for i think close to 1500 euro which is in canadian dollars it's close to two thousand dollars it's absolutely insane what's happening right now with chanel prices uh for ready to wear literally literally insane but this uh, chanel uh things with it's written over here i don't know it's almost it's hard to see i don't know maybe even i have to insert the pictures so pretty much these little squares it's a tweed and then the cc i don't know it's almost looking like a leather um imitation almost like kind of like a snake skin and then around it's all rhinestone let me just once again come a little bit closer to the camera and hopefully you can see see this is all tweed and then all around it's a rhinestone and this one it's not like a fabric it's like a leather or something i'm not sure what kind of material is that and if you really look closely it's almost like have like a scale of the snake absolutely absolutely gorgeous item and as i said it's in fashion right now it could be in fashion in 10 to 15 years if this t-shirt will survive but my thought process because mostly people when they go to 31 rue gambon they were thinking of buying either a handbag or piece of slg because you think that it will last for longer. My thought process, like if I wanna go to 31 Rue Gambon, I really wanna get um, some kind of um, ready to wear piece because at the end of the day, you know, that's how Chanel started with the hats and uh, ready to wears before she actually um, kind of went, uh, ventured to um, handbags. So I wanted to get some kind of piece, uh, ready to wear piece, but when I was trying uh, some of the items, by the way, guys, I'm going to link the video shopping at 31 Rue Campon. I like one dress. It's actually a very, very pretty dress, but it's kind of snug on hips. They said that they can do an alteration, but the fabric is um, almost like a velvet fabric. And uh, I was really afraid that when they're gonna open up it's still gonna show where the previously stitches were made because when it's velvet it li literally leaves the marks of the stitching but maybe they know some kind of tricks because clearly they are doing alterations all the time so at the end with these prices i decided that i want to get something that uh, doesn't need any alterations or anything in fact guys if you already have and this is kind of like 100% cotton, except for this uh, decorative touch. If you already have any Chanel t-shirts, and this is not thin, it's kind of like a thicker fabric. Uh, please let me know, do you wash it? Do you give it for the dry clean? Because clearly instructions, it's uh, dry clean. But I just want to know um, what you do with your Chanel t-shirt because for me personally, it's my first Chanel t-shirt. I have Chanel um, jacket. It's kind of more of the uh, autumn coat, like, you know, short coat because it's quite thick fabric. I mean, it's coat and I really love it. And that coat that I have, it's not traditionally looking like Chanel Chanel because when it comes to Chanel, 
I filmed so many uh, pieces, almost like too mature looking. And when they show them on a the runway on young girls at 17 years old, it looks cool. But when you are 50 plus woman, sometimes they could age you, you know, un unnecessarily. Let's put it this way. So, uh, so far I have only three um, ready to wear pieces from Chanel. I have a pair of trousers. I have that uh, short uh, coat. And this is my third piece. It's a t-shirt so I thought it's also kind of young looking funky I can layer it once again with any other jacket it could be just underneath t-shirt so I thought I'm gonna have lots of wear and when it's gonna get completely old and broken up I felt like you know I still can wear it at home almost like a pajama so I'm gonna wear this t-shirt to the point that it's gonna have a holes in it and then I'm gonna throw away so my first piece from uh, my trip to Paris and purchase from 31 Rue Cambon it's ready to wear it's t-shirt and it says Coco Chanel on that t-shirt so you know I think it's the most memorable piece for me, um, you know, traveling to Paris and shopping at 31 Rue Cambon. I actually want to buy some more pieces at that location. Once again, you have to watch um, my latest video when I talk about like, you know, the bestest pieces at Chanel only for VIP clients, um, for VIP clients only. So let's open the second piece. This second piece I actually got not from 31 Rue Campone. I got it from a regular uh, boutique because clearly they have several different boutiques. This one, in fact, I got from the boutique inside Galerie Lafayette. And um, let's look at this piece. So... Oh. See, that's what I said. Like, you see? It's kind of glue residue and it's from the camellias. So the camellias, it's clearly already fallen off, but on the box I have this uh, glue residue and now it's all over my fingers. I mean, it's really nice that they changed the camellias to kind of those buttons because I mean, at least you can reuse those buttons. So let's open up and this piece I really really love it it was absolutely impossible to get at local boutique it's uh, completely sold out everywhere it's not the cheapest it's like custom jewelry so this is not on sale I paid full price and the price in Paris because it's already with the taxes and everything it's pretty much the same price as Toronto I would say even like I don't know maybe even $50 more to be honest so if you travel into Paris uh, in the sense that you can get and shop something at uh, Paris boutique and get lesser price no it's actually comparing to Toronto it's pretty much the same price or even with conversion rates it's even more but some of the items that let's say hard to get at the local boutique you can get it there so let's just open up and that's what i got they're absolutely coolest things ever let me just uh, remove it from the box and this is those earrings, like, you know, the model earrings of the handbags when they had it on the 80s um, runway show. And then they redid it in 23P uh, with the earrings. And they're like, you know, I'm very, very particular about Chanel earrings because when they're large, they could be really heavy on me. And I don't like it when they're pulling my ear loops. But this one is absolutely perfect. So let me put them on. I absolutely love it you know the details on these earrings maybe I don't know I will try to come closer to the camera right now but then if my camera once again won't cooperate with me then maybe I'm gonna insert like short clip showing them so before I put them on let me show these earrings so you see this one it's almost like a quilting and clearly you can see the CC then on side once again you can let me just make sure that it's in focus on the sides there is a CC as well and there is a gorgeous quilting on the back. So let me put them on. 
and they clearly one of them is left one of them is right actually in fact believe it or not this is the first time i'm putting them on because i didn't try them on the ears and the boutique because you know they don't allow to to put them on ears so this is the first time myself i see how they look like on me wow that's crazy yeah <laughs> someone who is buying something without completely even trying but that's you know what's happening right now with chanel you either buy it or not and if you don't buy it well you know move along next let's put it this way and that's how they look like oh my goodness they're so cool i'm not sure should i put them actually outside like that yeah let me see You know what I think because right now I actually have uh, several pieces of Chanel jewelry on me I have a choker and then I have this necklace and when you see on a runway uh, how those models are dressed up sometimes they have five or even six layered um, necklaces and then obviously they have a pair of earrings and they have cuffs and everything I mean they're clearly there to promote but when at home you try to recreate that look and you put just one necklace and you're thinking why it doesn't look as like wow because they layer it they layer it with so many uh, necklaces and that's what i did today i mean not so many i personally don't really look good with those long necklaces because of my chest it's kind of like you know doesn't really look good but the short necklaces look quite nice on me at least i believe so from chanel and now this pair of earrings i think personally that this pair of earrings will look the best with just like you know a pair of denim simple t-shirt these earrings and any black chanel handbag and the outlook is done like i really believe in that because with these earrings you don't need anything else so that's about it that's the pieces that i got from my trip from uh, paris chanel pieces i mean i didn't buy anything else i tried to get a burgundy handbag i couldn't i tried to get some um you know um i wanted green wallet or in fact i want just a card holder i couldn't get it i was asking for some other handbags like i don't mind to get the wheel a uh, small size with top handles but just black once again they didn't have it in fact pretty much almost anything i asked for they didn't have and the instruction was kind of given look at the shelves what you see is what you get don't ask for more <laughs> that's about it that's kind of instruction from the chanel boutiques that i got during my um shopping spree uh chanel boutiques so that's about it guys if you have any questions please do not hesitate i have also several questions under all my videos about the customs specifically canada customs because clearly i brought my items inside canada i'm gonna do that video later on please stay tuned because uh, i have a lot to say and i don't want to kind of mash everything up in one video because in this case it's going to be too long and um, not dedicated to specific subject let's put it this way so the video about the custom duties and extra charges and payments coming up to my channel because when i um, flew in i declared everything so that's about it for today guys i hope that you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give me likes share subscribe and i will see you on my next one